In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing concepts in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become a, the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it allows you to be able to stay up to date with all the latest tips and strategies on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. We upload videos here every day breaking down both sides of the football. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the gun bunch, and specifically one of the plays that we're going to be digging into today is we are going to be talking about the gun bunch trail. Now, the gun bunch trail is one of the most underrated passing concepts in the game, and the reason why is because most people um, will run flood or mesh or z-spot or something like that, Whereas bunch trail oftentimes will get a little bit forgotten. I'm going to share with you a nice little combination that you can do to make this concept very, very powerful, especially in zone coverage. Now, what I like to do with this play is I like to go ahead and put my tight end or my X receiver on a flat route. I like to always smart route the square route. I'm going to take my running back or my triangle receiver. I'm going to put him on an option route. And then I'm going to put the RB receiver on a hitch. And I'm going to put the... Uh, circle receiver on a smart route hitch just like this right here now really quickly I wanted to um, Hit on one other thing real quick and that is that if you or actually I'm sorry I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it a little bit differently I'm gonna put the the, the inside slot on the smart route hitch and the outside slot on a um, On a regular hitch so the R1 receiver is gonna be on a smart route hitch and then the circle receiver is gonna be on a regular hitch now really quickly if you have not got my full gun bunch offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It's just 15 bucks, and it literally will walk you through how to run this entire offensive scheme. This is just one play, and the ebook or the guide has several, several play breakdowns that you can use um, to be able to really work the ball up and down the field at will against your opponent. But here's how this play is going to work. Um, you're just going to motion that circle receiver out to the right, and basically it's you're going to read this little zone flood um, on the right side. Oftentimes, you're going to have a lot of success uh, working these hitches, uh, especially if you do it like this, because the way the yellow zones work, a lot of people are going to run their yellow zones at five yards, and that's going to leave that R1 receiver basically wide open in the middle of the field. Now, the left side is, you know, um, is basically the same story as well, even though you have one less, uh, you have one less curl. So, Let's say, for example, they go and they're running some Mabel coverage, okay? So they're running some, some Mabel coverage, which basically means they're going to have two flats on the left. Then you can snap throw this little option route right at the seam relatively easily. So that's one of the beauties of this play is that you just have the ability to be zone coverage at will. Now, as far as man coverage goes, because of the lack of one step ahead right now in the community, because people can't really put it on everybody, a lot of people are going away from it, then that means that this skinny post is going to have a little bit more success against man-to-man. -man. As you can see right there, he cuts to the inside, and he's able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if they put, let's say that they put, like, for example, let's say that they put an inside third on the field. Okay? So I'm going to put an inside third on the field, and what you're going to notice is we're going to just kind of watch how they play this post. This is another concept that people will do. As you'll see right here, they kind of gathered and they've kind of taken away that poster with that inside third. However, that is going to leave other things open for you to be able to hit. Um, the other route that you can hit really, really easily against man-to-man -man coverage is going to be your running back on that option route. The triangle receiver is almost always going to get open against man-to-man, -man, and he's almost always going to break that tackle as soon as he catches the ball. So you have a nice little easy man getting right there. Now the next coverage I want to talk a little bit about here is the cover four. So if I run a cover four coverage, now you notice that I'm using, specifically I'm using um, curls and hitches and, and all of that. So if I, if I leverage this against a cover four, so I'm running the same route combination here, what you're gonna notice is I might have a little bit of a shot and I didn't get the protection I needed, but I'll be able to get that square receiver over the top of a cover four as long as I have you know a pretty good amount of time. So you do need time in the pocket, but if they're dropping everybody back, you know, maybe they're running some type of cover four Mabel type of coverage. That's what the other thing about this bunch trail play is that this post route just does such a good job at getting over the top of a cover four. As you can see right there, gets wide open over the cover four drop, 
right over the top of the defense. So you're able to literally beat every single coverage in the game. You're able to beat man coverage. You're able to beat zone coverage. You're able to beat cover four, cover three. And then this right here is a cover two beater. And you'll see here, I mean, this thing shreds cover two. It's just because of the spacing of the formation and because of where that route gets to, you're going to have a lot of success against cover twos. And, you know, they just kind of, eventually they just run out of players to put in positions. That's kind of how it's going to happen for you. Um, you're going to notice that, you know, you can see right here, like this circle receiver, he, he can get open a lot. The circle receiver will typically pull the yellow zones out um, of the way for the triangle receiver if their yellow zones are at um, the five-yard depth that a lot of people put them at. If their yellow zones aren't at the five-yard depth, then what you'll see is that that circle receiver will sometimes just get wide open himself, as you see right there, wide open for an easy read. So that is the bunch trail guys i want to thank you for watching this video i want to let you also know that if you want to get the complete offensive guide this is part of what makes gun bunch so tough is that this is just one play and there's so many powerful plays out of the gun bunch and so if you want to learn my complete way of running the gun bunch offense i have a gun bunch offensive guide that i'm going to be leaving for you in the description of this video that is just 15 dollars now if you have any questions about the video or the ebook Go ahead and text me. My number is 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a re quick reminder, if you want to get that Gun Bunch Offensive Guide, I'm going to be leaving a link to it in the description of this video.